So um, this is not my ori original content. Um, it's not parent of mine. I'm just repeating something. It's not advice. It's just a like a morale or something like a morale or some piece of valuable information in a, some in the words or something. Okay. Uh, you can't argue, and uh, you won't want to argue. Most people, and 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 it won't matter to agree because by agree in agreement, you on all you will challenge your own notion. Like like as if. Uh, okay, it's like reflecting on yourself and challenging your own notion of gathering of, of trying to gather useful information through this process of like looking at it this way okay uh, but it goes like this right? um, choose your hustle wisely because there may not be any problem with your hustle so long as uh um, you know that we can see the hustle, then it's all good and um, go back to it, right? So like, uh, uh, be, be careful when you, when you select, when you pick your hustle, because uh, um, the maybe I, you know, the maybe I, I'll, maybe I, uh, don't have a problem with the hustle part, but also, uh, are you going to want to keep your hustle when uh, when you know that everybody can see it's a hustle? And uh, even if they're okay with it or not, what well, shouldn't be an issue if everybody's okay with it, then that hustle will be there for somebody else to do it a few years later, right? The only way that's possible really is if, uh, let's say the, the air, the, uh, parking in, in a residential neighborhood, if there isn't enough parking in a residential neighborhood in the meter and, uh, the, um, cause you can't say that there are people taking advantage of parking in an area where they wouldn't expect there to be no parking for you to skim off of if you didn't live there. Uh, so I'm gonna go and comb my hair. That's it. I just, I mean, is there valuable information in that? Like making, I know making YouTube videos in your room is, is tacky, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know if that is for me to even, I'm not, I'm not monetized. I never, What's the point of, I mean, like there's, there's still a point, like there's still a point. They, everything has a reason, right? I'm not saying, oh, I love everybody. I want to save you with this valuable information. Because again, like I'm have to be selfishly motivated to some extent. What is it? Is it, you know what I mean? Because I'm human and it could be like a complete folly, like what it could be a complete misdirection. Why are you making non-monetized YouTube videos? We gotta figure out what's there to, uh, and then if it's valuable information, like why are you giving it away? Well, there's uh, all kinds of different giveaways. There's little coin faucets and little 
my 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 paper fills up my mailbox all the time. I I throw all of it away. It's like it's not for me. Just go. You know, I'm not. I'm not gonna say that I was raped or anything like that. Uh, because I wouldn't like paper, more paper or something like that. You know I mean, nobody because nobody gives a fuck if I want all this paper. You know, I don't want you to go shop in some expensive uh, supermarket. Is or, uh, well, that's for the people that can barely afford to shop at those super those expensive supermarkets, and they're gonna be digging through all that paper. But then you just like hit everybody the same. Like, <clears throat> don't be poor. So like, uh. We uh, open source, integrate, and then try to open source and find utility in a in a market that is just a venue for it, how you unwind and have fun and stuff like. Uh, sooner or later, those become slave systems. Remember, like Ouija board and shit, like uh astrology and there are little games people like uh um you, you know like to scare p people people need to be scared you know a little bit it's it like tell them st stories and like all these things but uh so like whoever comes up with the next slave systems isn't even wrong you know what i mean because the i ching there's a de deteriorated form of the I Ching and then a deteriorated form of uh, Geometria and then a deteriorated form of Ouija and a deter more deteriora deterioration until uh, it's like uh, and then every different kind of organism like on the way up from microbial to arthropods and is like just uh, doing something to alter the the material that has a a, a negativity uh, charged field of, of it like toward it it's just organic material but you know it's not maple syrup it's diarrhea You should know that you, not you, but we should know the difference. I would think. <sighs> um, but uh, there's an there's a path there's a pathology that is like smells like fucking cake bread wine or something like that, and it's diarrhea, and it's diarrhea. You couldn't deny that to that its job is to turn it into the next renderable substance for to become rejuvenated to back to something that would be like i don't know you, you can put it in a band-aid which would be disgusting but if it wasn't honey um i don't know people think that's weird this conversation or something like uh what it, okay so it's a core reactive response to a phenomenon. The genes tied into your work. You have one job, you have one job, okay? Go be a um, transporter for the pollen sack of this or orchid, fly into this orchid, uh, take a spiritual bath in the ethereal dew of the, like, like there's some like little water inside and then it'll be like, uh, change its uh it'll, it'll turn its uh physiology over to be uh to be able to hold on to something and then the pollen will stick on these like two lumps on or something like above the wings or something or on the foot or something like it, it's um okay so it's like every everything comes down to you have one job and uh if you don't love to do it, then you'll be dying. You'll be as 
you would be getting choked. It would be like choking. <laughs> I forget what the fuck I started this video about. For some reason, I don't have the patience to go back and look at the beginning of the video and make another video. Because I'm supposed to comb my hair and stuff. I'm never, if I don't comb my hair, I'm not going to do the next thing. Which is go outside. And that's what I got to do. Even if I'm dark raving, insane lunatic, I'm still supposed to do that go outside but people energy does what it do regardless and if I can all find something to talk about and then my conversation will spill over and I always um, find myself looking at people like walking up and being around people and like, still talking to myself and they're all looking at me like I'm talking to them and, and and maybe you are because you won't i mean if you don't tone it down like something but it'll be like having like outrageous uh laughing fits and everything talking to myself and fucking i and you're gonna hear people every now and then interject interject it's a little bit like getting raped you know, like the crazy lady, she's always like talking about everybody raping her and shit. Anybody want to rape you ugly? But maybe there's a little truth to it. Because you can't just be like that. People can't wait to, it's like a food. People can't, when they would set up shop and diagnose something. Did you ask for help? Because if I find, figure out how anybody's helping me, I could sue you. Yeah. It's all malpractice. Every every career job is someone else's it inefficiency, idiosyncrasy, or in 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 inadequacy or something. They like high food tax concept or something. They litter. So you get to walk around in flat cans and for hassle. And there's just really crazy people that are just nice. And they're the ones that are always getting scared. And cops show up all the time and can't see me. It's like I'm invisible. Shit, you know what I mean? But they do it in a way that... Like, uh... That, you know, it's like they have their cell phone number, but you didn't leave a statement in person. It might be illegal to talk to the police. They, they just don't have to go arrest you if they like you. Because you're supposed to be enforcing the, the um, policy of uh, protecting uh, the assets of rich people you mean, which goes into the hospitality. You need security for hospitality. So they're protecting, it's like they're not protecting the people, they're protecting the the um, the establishment that has you, that you frequent. You can't call it the establishment and complain. You frequent the establishment. You need it for it to be what it is for people to, don't throw it off if you, disrupt and everything, then you can be hauled off. So, but uh, I can so easily disrupt now, including the ability to put people to sleep.
like uh, I'm not making anybody huffing any gas. So it's not illegal. But I, I can make people so depressed and down and go to sleep right to bed. Eating coffee and everything. Drinking, eating coffee. And then sometimes I want to do it. Sometimes I want to do it to them. Just so they, they know that they it can be got, they, everybody gets depressed. Everybody's gonna get depressed. Hmm. And they thought that they had escaped. And it, in a sense, like when you think that you have escaped and you're still looking around and everybody's under coercion, then you should be depressed. How does anybody make you do that? They would be like, um, stupid belligerent fucking coming around, making me go through the same shit all the time. Now it's just set you up for repetition. You didn't get a, you didn't get a, 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 um, a degree past what an angle could give you. There's no new revelation. So, uh, you know that the whole curriculum is going to fold in like a souffle. Can, can collapse on itself. The beginning of knowledge is supposed to be the fear of, of God, right? Not saying it isn't. But what was it before we had a word for God, which is actually GD, and that that's Judea. Um, a lot of people are just going to jump up and summarize and say, well, they were all fucking butt-fucking crazy maniac homicidal nihilist. And they needed a book, or they would... What I think happened is that uh, some people were given a destiny with the book by their uh, by their uh, creator, which whose name was God. That they they named him God. What your name? What you name God could be anything. I just um. If anybody names it for you, they're going to be on so many levels. They're going to be wrong on so many levels. You could just expect it to come. It's going to be some bullshit. It's going to be some bullshit. Until, you know what I mean? Until I name God, then who the fuck are you to tell me what God's name is? And, and that goes for me, too. <laughs> <It's> anybody... <laughs> Uh, see, I don't need to comb my hair that bad in, anymore as much as I had to before when I wasn't making points in any sense. And just sitting there eating and making a YouTube video in your room, tacky. Like, why you know stuff? Then if it's the point and then no stuff and then you can't, don't even monetize your videos or can't or there's still a reason why you're making videos and it's not monetized. What is it still? What is it? And, uh, You know, are you gonna make me depressed now? Like, is it like I'm gonna turn this off before you turn your like? But then you would see some real serious shit. Then if you hold on for just a second, except that if you do, then I don't know. I might use my powers for evil, evil before you can close your eyes and not look. That does apply in some instance, right? Because for me to have a story to tell, it shouldn't be one that fucking... Oh, I the other day I was talking to my mom or my sister. Because uh, there's too too much that reason I can understand anybody would want to say fuck to them. And I'm not supposed to partner. You know, like business, any kind of partner, partner. But the way it had to be explained to me is that, oh, she's not your girlfriend. Like... Am I trying to, am I trying to, um, ex expense guilt, dispense guilt from, I wouldn't come around them for to dispense guilt, but if that's all you can do when you go around them, then that's what you're there to do. You, they, they can mute, they can mute you with the monarch 
butterfly programming, they can mute mute you because they, at the same time, they're like, there's it. The, it's an excuse. Monarch, the Monarch butterfly programming is induced hysteria. So for whatever that's going on that they can't process enough to give me any kind of advice that I wouldn't spit at. Like the advice they give me is God, it's garbage. I can't call you God trash now. Your family. If the shit you say to me is rancid porpoise hork or sludge from the the bile of the fucking ninth dimension of fucking the tenth level of Nar. It's just for you not to do that. That's why I quit my job. I'm not going to aim a gun-shaped thermometer piece of fucking vaporware just because it obviously takes your temperature so it works and fucking get master logic and keep point and training the next generation like this on their first fucking job. Your first job ever and then fucking any fucking dickhead can go up to your fucking daughter and aim a fucking piece of fucking stupid thermometer. Like... Why do I need a job? I could scrape a can on the sidewalk <laughs> and they don't like me. I walk by that place and they shoot me looks and shit. I just don't want to fucking aim that stupid shit at your little fucking girly girl ass head. Little girly girl ass. Everybody want to be gay and fucking probably only work there for two weeks so they can buy a Versace bag and quit right before COVID. Uh, that dude probably want to go back. He probably wants to go back there right now. You know what I mean? I just got lucky. I would want to go back there and work too. But I got lucky and that's something else. So I don't want to make that the point of everything. Because it couldn't be. That would also make you a weirdo. So, you know? I was like, I had choices. Doing something, but as soon as you make them choices, you just go back into being... That nobody can know who it is and they don't know what makes you think so um so this is why you can't have a job nigga like you you need to figure out right now soon as possible that we're doing coercion and we're a bunch of fucking weird molesty type salt molester type fucking shit everybody's a molester 80, I heard 80%. I can make sense now. It can make sense now. 80%, like, you know what I'm saying? They're saying like 80% of people are like maps. So basically, that can make more sense than it doesn't look that normal ass people are basically, okay, look how they, look what's happening to them. Watch this. Watch this, okay? Naturally, if you are a business, you want people to patronize your establishment. That's how you make transactions, right? Who, the, how could you program all these people, these entrepreneurs, all these business owners to want to throw that out the window, right? Get the entry level front of house, you know, people that you want to see because they're attractive, young, bright, you know, you go into the restaurant and they take you to and they're charming and you feel a little happy and you sit down and you're like, I like this place. Like, yeah, okay. Um, they are supposed to want to give you a mask off the top. They're supposed to pow right in your hand when you walk in, right? You're supposed to have this. Like, what are you looking at? You didn't, like, you, you, like, I, like, I can't believe you didn't bring your own mask. Like, oh. right? It doesn't stop there. Don't think that this is about COVID. I mean, or you can, or I don't care or whatever. Think it's about COVID if you want to, right? But basically, don't patronize me. Put this on. Don't patronize me. I'm the front of the house. I greet every customer when they come in. The property that you built your restaurant in just has another evaluation based on whether or not it's close to, because now you don't want to be close to the road where there's cars parked. You want to be in the middle, in between the roadblocks where everybody's walking around and they walk past you twice going this way and they come back and they see you again. Everything's another evaluation. You're, you won't make it in NFTs if you don't 
look at what's going on in the grid the, the street is just like a computer chip this the, the the buildings and the and and uh the thoroughfare like you know decentraland and everything you take the biggest properties like the most expensive properties that you want are next to uh the uh the road the road where you know where the traffic I know, huh? I say that to you like you're stupid. But the thing is, it doesn't matter if, I, if you master logic or anything like that. Because you'll still fuck up everything. Uh, it's something... About... Uh, trans you have to go back and look at transmitter. What is a transmitter? Because it, it has to be a receiver on behalf of a transmitter. And then it could be put onto something else. Right. The Doctor Who traveled from space through get to the front of the TV screen, right? And then and then uh he entertained you know families through television through the front of a tube of a TV screen, right? And traveling through space, the inside of Doctor Who's spaceship is everything looks just like the inside of a TV. It's like um, made, they used transistor tubes from the inside of TVs to build this ship. Like, you know what I mean? Like to make the things that look like it would be on a ship. I'm not talking about the the Who, I'm talking about Doctor Who. And it's put, I, I heard there's a rap group called The Who, spelled H-U or some shit like that. That's probably on some Anunnaki and Atlantean shit. Atlantis, they're Mu off the off the coast of the bay. Uh, there was a energy, um, an, an energy event that um, where if you couldn't recreate this much energy with a natural disaster, I don't know what did it, but it broke two layers of gold belt in the in the Sierra Madres. There's two gold belt. There's, well, there's one above and there's one below, but there's also two parallel. So it can be confusing. I've said things before that, that didn't check out because I didn't look up, but then there was something else that came along later and validated it again. And it's so frustrating because like, look, I probably should have looked it up just so that I would be like, you know what I mean? Because it, um, the there's repairs going on or something. It was like temporarily. It, it, the light bulb didn't come on because they were repairing the the plat the, the the platform the lamp for the light bulb. But then when it went on, there was a conspiracy. Like it, the energy con uh, was confusion, and then there was also some other entities there that were very organized and trained, and they set up and they did their thing national geographic right man mandalay mandalay bay my my friend was talking about national geographic there was but it's it is national geographic though because they're trying to get together the democratic platform they were trying to get together what the democratic platform was going to be and uh then there was all this shooting at the bellagio and shit like that it's weird how, like, okay, it's not conspiracies at this point. You know what I mean? It's like a bunch of fuck shit. It's uh, s circumstances that are right for fuckery and then a bunch of fucking chaos. And then we try to break down all these little events of people running around like chickens with their head cut off. Why? You don't think somebody in a position above the, the, the masses could be run, doing panic running around like a chicken with their head cut off? And we got to explain it as something like, Oh, this is a plan. It's just that it's um, before it happened, it was infinite possibility, so you couldn't guess. But after it happened, it was inevitable because it was leading up to.